portion of the tutorial series we we implementing our database configuration and set up our database in docker that is postgres before moving forward i need to show some important concept when when you are working in a project that uh, that time in your solution you cannot uh, uh, show you cannot get about about the git ignore file or readme file uh, that is not showing in our solution project solution uh, folder so you if you want to need some change or modify that something then you need to uh, change it to file system then you see the readme or git ignore file is showing there but the best practice is in your solution folder you need to add some add existing item then you know project uh, git ignore and readme open there so that time your these all to file also showing this location okay that that is very helpful for you to change anything uh, anything uh, if you need in add if you, you need to add something in git uh, git ignore or readme file okay so now we move forward and we set up our postgres um, docker that is official always try to install the official image okay so we need two image one is for the postgres database another is for postgres uh, geographical interface to for our that is when if you are working in sql server then you, you install the sql server management studio that is the admin uh, graphical tool for writing your query in graphically so that uh, that is similar postgres has a another tool uh, if i write postgres and from there if i i try to find something information that is adminer okay postgres adminer if i write postgres adminer no need adminer uh, without adminer postgres admin admin tool pg admin yeah that is a very fantastic tool so if i write pg admin docker pg admin for container uh, it's not official we need to find some official uh, so if i write pg admin sorry admin postgres so the admin portal is dpg pg admin 4 is a web page administrator tool for uh, uh, postgres so we need to set up uh, everything okay docker pg admin 4 docker distribution of pg admin 4 docker hub instruction okay so we need to set up both these in our application okay so i first uh, showing you how can you set up this in your using your command line then i move forward and then uh, another another section i am set up it in our docker compose file okay so so when you are adding uh, image or container in docker that is dependent one uh, each one another then you must first create a docker network okay so uh, i create docker network create uh, that is my postgres okay so first of all you need to create the network then you need to set up the postgres uh, we need to latest version if uh, if you see their documentation you get some information how 
how to you create this uh, if I copy this and VS code I open some line create a file stop this okay and paste it okay so need to some modify that is name is my postgres name and postgres default port is uh, hyphen p that is port 5432 is a postgres default port 5432 and need to environment variable if i write multi line and if you if you see my linux codes then you understand in linux you this line is used for new line so my password is taposh 007 and hyphen d that is run in background and now and then need to add the image name that is postgres if i not write any tag that is latest okay so if you need to download latest no need to write it okay so before here i need to add some uh, if i add delete the container i not want to delete the data so that cause i need to add their uh, information where they store data yeah this area is the postgres stored their data so i copy this and hyphen v and without using the i am adding a name my postgres data okay so i create a volume data volume for the name and store this and also i need to uh, set up the network and we, we need to know how to set up network in uh, docker so if i run and create another docker create container docker create command you get the network information uh, network network control f network yeah connect a container to unit hyphen hyphen net okay so in our here I write hyphen hyphen net and need to provide the network name and you know we create a network that is my postgres network okay so this and added this line so I copy this and run this command in our here okay so I run okay so the and if I write docker ps then you see my postgres image is running successfully okay so now i need to set up my postgres pg admin okay so let us release release our pg admin has no any documentation here so i know the process i am showing you so now need to docker run hyphen hyphen name my post grace admin i provide the name is and need a port where which port the application is run and hyphen p i uh, i run it's running 9080 port and inside their container it port 80 port so and also need to provide some environment variable dpg and if i go their documentation hmm, let us release if i go there the official docker distribution also going to find some information and blah 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 huge information is there right yeah yeah you see dpg pg admin uh, but two important command is you need to default email and default password is needed to log in with your admin portal so 
I get information then I write this uh, so uh, email address and write my email address that is tapul.aa at the rate gmail.com and default password I set the same password for there okay you need no need to write the same password okay so this is for admin portal login huh? yeah so i set to environment variable also provide the network information and inside there i write their network information and i think no any information is needed and one important part i forget that is this container also run in background and the container and image name is this is the image name okay so i copy this and and okay so i copy this and in our terminal i run this and click enter you see and now write docker ps you see both of the container is running successfully and this is running 9080 port if i go to my browser and click localhost and 9080 then you see no info is coming there and wait a couple of second it's loading loading we need to yeah you can see now the admin portal is come my user and email address is tapos.agmail.com and password is tapos007 if i click login yeah you see the admin portal is coming there and if you want to connect your server if you create a server that is the name of my server that is my server uh, connection in host name and in your host name uh, you need to provide your uh, postgres image name my that is my postgres and password is tapos 007 no other information needed uh, unable to connect server my postgres port failed fatal password authentication failed uh, so oh, sorry username is username is by default postgres okay postgres and password is same you see your database connectivation is done so this portion we understand how to write uh, our how to set up our uh, postgres database in docker and how to communicate with the application in our how to communicate this database in our application i think you enjoy it and you understand it and when you are creating some command and information uh, important command then you must need to write it in your uh, uh, readme file that that is very helpful if you forget some days later then you get this information from from the url okay so i write my post post grace database setup in docker command and i write tilde and again write three tilde and inside there i copy this command and paste this so this command is run, coming very smoothly send i copy this and paste it post case database admin portal setup in docker command and i need to copy this and paste this okay so that is very helpful for next time and one important command we forget that is uh, first of all we create a uh, network docker network create command okay so 
our network is that is our network name is my postgres so i write docker network create cr eat and paste this line okay so that is very helpful documentation we save this and git add again git commit hyphen m post grace database setup done okay, now we push again git push origin main okay if i go to our browser and demo application and you see our all command is present there and our database setup also done okay bye bye